Oh, I'll tell you why. Ooh, it was like The Bachelor. It was. You know, it's, I liked it's, it. it's very interesting. In terms of a rollout. It's very interesting that we've been all, we've been talking about the chaos, but, but it's very interesting that the second he walked up to the microphone, you could tell he was in his element. I always have theories that presidents are great at some things and not so great at some things. George W. Bush was horrific. In these sort of Eastern ceremonies with great one on one. Trump's actually really good one on one. But last night, he's up there. You can tell he's very re relaxed. This is what and he does. Hit it out of the park politically, especially with conservatives this morning. My God. He, mm. he loved doing this, you could tell. And it looked like he could have been Reagan or a Bush uh, in terms of the, the staging of it and in terms of the guy he chose. He chose a guy with impeccable legal credentials. And he celebrated him for that. And so for all the unorthodox things Donald Trump has already done as president, this could not have been a more standard Republican pick saying, this guy's like Scalia, but it, you look at his resume, you look at his demeanor, and you look at the way he was rolled out, and it could not have been more standard and more powerful for the politics of the Republican Party, whether he gets confirmed or not. Also is another more issue. powerful for middle America as far as looking at their president. Now, of course, a lot of stuff's going on over the weekend. A lot of people walking past their TV set seeing protests, this, that, that. But last night, Willie, 8 o'clock, when he had announced this all along, I can tell you in my house, I called my daughter down, Kate, 13. I said, come on down, let's watch this, because whoever he picks is going to be at the Supreme Court when you're 40 years old. Let's watch this. And I, I, I expect the numbers are going to be pretty huge. And again, the second he walked up to that microphone, you're like, oh, wow, he looks comfortable. He looks like it. Looks like he's been there for a very long time. Yeah, I mean, as disastrous and amateurish as the rollout of the executive order was, this was good and professional. I mean, this was well done. And for some Republicans and conservatives who got a little queasy over the last two weeks, boy, did this bring them together last night. You and couldn't find a conservative either in that room, which right. became sort of a spin room afterward, senators across the board, uh, to leading conservatives in media, leading intellectuals all across the board, thrilled and energized by this pick. And, and also, Mika, even networks that have been openly hostile toward him, uh, talking about how this was uh, 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 extremely successful rollout. Well, I, I think it was in his sweet spot. It was, it was really, this is what he does. He likes to create drama. He likes to do the big reveal. He likes to have people waiting until the very last second. And on every level, including the fact that it was really organized <laughs> and well produced um, and had sort of a, a wonderful flair to it that was, you know, extremely high end, so to speak. Uh, this was Donald Trump doing what he knows how to do, which is an event. I remember when we went to New Hampshire in the primary and he uh, wanted us to see backstage how his events went. And I was like, this is all incredible compared to. She actually said, as we were walking, she said, this is a TV producer. This is somebody this who understands how to put this stuff together, which again, completely opposite of what we've been talking about on this show the past several so that's days. that's staging. It's very interesting. Yeah, the staging, like we said, was horrific earlier uh, on the Stephen Miller stuff. And because the, things and like government the got in the stuff. way. <laughs> uh, on, on, in this case, though, uh, I was talking to the White House yesterday, uh, not, not really pleasant phone calls, but picked up in my reporting that the president and others said we're going to do this in, in a very organized, meticulous way, mm -hmm. and what happened over the weekend is not going to happen again. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see but, about that. But look, I mean, th this should have been, I mean, again, not to take anything away from it, he put out a list in the campaign of people he would consider. Mm -hmm. It was a, a very mainstream conservative list in order to reassure Republicans who weren't sure about his ideological credentials. He, he stuck with that. He had a long time to think about this. He had a list. Executing something like this should not be that hard, given that it's totally within your control. You're right. at the White House, you're able to do it. It was executed flawlessly. I totally agree with that. Right. And the other thing, the key element here, is the fact that he picked someone who any of the other 16 Republicans who ran for president would have been on their short list, too. This guy is, for all the abnormal elements of Donald, D, Donald Trump as president, this was a normal pick. And by within the, the, by the way, within as, the Republican as you know, as you know, more than any other issue, for most of the people voting in a Republican primary, and I'm one of them, it's about the Supreme Court. Sure.
there's a recognition this is why who he elected. picks will determine. So there are uh, the never Trumpers, few less never Trumpers this morning, and some even going into middle territory. Because again, for people that don't realize this, I mean, it's this way for for liberals as well. But for conservatives, Willie, this is what matters most to them. Yeah, I was talking to somebody last night, a conservative, who said almost exactly that. They said, people ask me, how could you vote for Donald Trump? I said, why did I hold my nose and vote for Donald Trump for this moment this tonight, for, for what happened right there? For me, it was all about the Supreme Court. If Hillary Clinton had become president, this would have been a completely different court, given that this will end up being a, a swaying swing vote. And Mika, the thing is, you, you have now Kennedy, who, after seeing this pick, may decide to retire over the next four years. Uh, you also have uh, a couple of Democrats mm -hmm. uh, who are um, older, and I don't know, they may decide to get off the court. Uh, there is, though, also the opportunity, uh, Clarence Thomas may decide to get off the court. There is a chance that uh, the, the president may select two to three more uh, Supreme Court justices over the next three years, which would fundamentally change the nature of the court. So now let's take a look at this. Uh Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.